Hello, welcome back to Peter Plays King's Quest. Uh, if you missed my last video, that's okay, because literally nothing happened. I spent 25 minutes wandering around, trying to work out what to do next, couldn't, eventually I went online, found a walkthrough. It turned out that uh, in my technique of go everywhere and try everything on anything, I'd forgotten a very important step when making a game, when, uh, when you're stuck in a game, which is try everything in your inventory on everything else in your inventory. Classic adventure game uh, misstep by me, and apparently the thing I missed was using the picket on the sword. You managed to dislodge the crystal that had been set within the hilt of the sword from a millennium ago. You feel a tinge of guilt and wonder what the past monarchs would have said. Now I have crystal, I have bluestone, I have yellow flower, I can make the enchantment from the book. Um, I could have done this all along had I just remembered to use bits of my inventory on other bits of my inventory. Uh, that's the only thing I read. Like, I read everything up until this point, and I've done everything. So I haven't missed anything vital. I'm pretty sure, as I said, they've made this game so that there's no dead ends, but it's good to know anyway. So let's go. I've got... Uh, doo -doo -doo. Heat a blue mineral and yellow vegetable until they coagulate into a greenish liquid. Stir the mixture with a white feather, drop it into a perfectly clear crystal. I'm not sure if I use these... Like, do I do that here? Um, let's just combine them, I guess. Okay, I didn't really think this one through. I've got all the ingredients. I just need to actually make it. But I don't know where to do that. Let's look at the crystal. Stunning clear stone. So I need to heat them. God damn it, I thought I was... Oh, that's not good. Hey, it's this guy. This is where he lives. Cool. I mean, not cool, but you know. Okay, yep, I've read that. Very exciting. Should have saved. Now I have to go all this way again. It's okay. It's not that far. I'm a pig this time. <laughs> Uh, last time I saved at start, because I was over here just exploring water, I literally explored every single square, I went into the swamp. Um, if you already watched this, you know it, if you haven't, now you don't have to, now you know everything that happened. I think this is a good way. No. Just want somewhere I can jump on my magic carpet. Magic carpet ride. This should be fine, but I feel like it's not going to be, because this game is just sometimes a dick. Although, having said that, do I actually want to be where the, uh, enchanter is? I just want to be somewhere with with heat. Let's do the thing. <laughs> Try it the other way around. Thank you, game. So I need to heat them together. But I don't know where exactly. Also, while I was reading the walkthrough, apparently you, like, you get to read a bunch more books in the library if you work out the library solution earlier. But considering how boring the two I read were, I'm okay with not doing that. Where am I meant to make this concoction, I wonder? It makes sense that you do it in the Enchanter's house, wouldn't it? Uh, no, I'll save when I get there. And I'm on, and I'm flying. Maybe it's the Enchanter's? I don't know, why does it know where to go? I've got to stop asking questions. The game doesn't have answers, and that's okay. It's weird how it gets colder the higher you go, because you're closer to the sun, so you'd think that... It's not how it works. Um, let's hypnotize the snake. It seems false hypnotized in typical snake fashion. Okay, let's save as sorcerer. And see if this is specifies where you where you can do it. We're casting enchantments, blah blah blah. Only the power of the emerald. Firstly, heat a blue mineral and a yellow vegetable together. Heat them together. I'm pretty sure I have to combine them, but... Can I, like, dislodge the, uh... The crystal from that? That doesn't need flattening.
These items can be used together, but on what is the question? I like that. I like the little hints. I'm guessing vampires. You've already removed the crystal from the sword. Okay, so... How do I heat them? I need like a little apothecary or something. What is that? I thought I was fine, but I'm still stuck. I just I know what to do, I just don't know how to do it at all. Okay, I'm going to check that guide because uh, otherwise it's just going to be another 20 minutes of me wandering around lost. I know what to do, I have no idea how to do it. AGD Interactive. Where can I heat things together? Can I hide behind this rock? I feel like there should be more rock hiding behind in this game. No, definitely not. King's Quest 2, I'm at agdinteractive.com, which is also where you can download these games. Uh, I think it'll be less fun having watched through me playing them, but uh, if you haven't played the rest of this, download this, play the rest of it, play the second, third one, etc., and then come back and watch them. This actually feels like a pretty dumb thing to say, to be like, hey, stop watching this and go do something else, but... Uh, okay, solutions... Coming soon, great. AGD walkthrough. Okay. Use your little thing on the thing. In the flask that is on the desk. Okay, cool. So there's a flask on the desk that I just managed to miss somehow. Is that it? Aha, here we go. Ah, <sighs> that's what I was after. This, this is why I was okay using a guide, because I thought I'd done all this, but uh a blue stone. How do you make fire? <laughs> How do you make fire? Um... This is interesting. I wasn't expecting this to be a challenge. I guess I'll just start trying everything. Oh, there we go. That worked really easily. Uh, what was it? It was put them in and then... Stir with a white feather, drop it into a clear crystal. Let's see if this works. Wait, what am I missing? Oh, I need to say the things, don't I? And recite. Blah, 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 blah. Aha! Now, save as sorcerer. If he comes back, am I protected? Is that the deal? Let's find out. So what what did I not do? I had to like use my hand on a certain part of the desk or something? Yeah, I just didn't use my hand on the right part of the workbench. It's just annoying when it's like little stuff like that that's stopping you from completing the game. There's a game that I'll probably play through at one point by Yahtzee. It's called Five Days a Stranger. And now that I've got the gem, can I touch that? Okay, let's go unenchant some shit. I reckon the snake's enchanted and needs unenchanting. A wondrous transformation, naked lady. Oh, look at that! Fucking hell, why would you turn a winged horse into a snake? 
Like... Thank you for f thank you for freeing me. Your horrid enchanter transformed me into that legless thing after I refused to be his steed. As punishment, that's it. Cool. That was quite a gamble to refuse an enchanter. True, but I could not have accepted. I'm a disciple of the cloud and can serve no land dweller. Disciple of the cloud? First, tell me what you're looking for. Explain everything. So you seek the air gem. Yes, you know of it? Most certainly, but you will not be able to reach it by any means available to you or any of your kind. I would take you with... Except the enchanter took and hid my bridle. Where did he hide it? I don't know. Perhaps a clue can be found. Okay, cool. So we're going back here again. For a clue to the bridle. Let's save just in case he comes in. Anything enchanted in here? And I can't look at it. I'm looking for a clue. I'm so glad I've progressed past nothing happening. Ah, oh, some writing's been engraved in the wall. I just missed it earlier. In row of spoons at number six, half and a pair from left to pick. Half and a pair from left to pick. Quell then my spell, avoid the tricks. Half and a pair from left to pick. Let's roll. Finally, I can make use of the six stones. Okay, I'm good. Stuff's happening. We're on a roll again. Sorry to anyone who sat through that last video. But that's what happens in this game. You just hit a dead end. Due to... Yeah, okay. The first part of, like, not not using my items on each other, that was my fault. you got to do that, man. It's, it's necessary in these games. But the... Um, is it down here? <laughs> I have no idea where it is. Um, not this way. Might be further south. But the, uh, yeah, not being able to find the workbench thing is just one of the most irritating things about these games. It's not anything to do with your actual skill level at all. It's just to do with arbitrarily clicking the right spots. Okay, I think the stones are way over to the left. Let's go up and then left for a while. But I don't honestly remember. <laughs> I know that they're here somewhere. I think this takes me out to the ocean now. Nope. Stones. Cool. Let's use my unenchanting. Half and a pair from left to pick. What? <laughs> That's the danger in getting stoned. Oh, game. Oops, have I looked at the writing? Do, do, do. Half and a pair. In Rose of Stones at number six, half and a pair from left to pick. How is that not half and two? Surely that like that's five. Half and six plus two from oh from left. Okay, my bad. Entirely my fault that I died that time. Let's go. It was to the left somewhere. I like this game. It's so much better than King's Quest 1. I haven't played King's Quest 3, so that'll be totally new to me, which means it'll be me getting lost and stuck a lot. Okay, from left, let's save. And let's remember the difference between left and right this time. He senses the power of your emerald and quickly departs. Aha! Nice. I'm glad that that. Uh... I'm glad I got to see that. Explosion? Nope. Bridle. Can I fly from here? I don't think there's enough room, but I'm going to try it anyway. K. 
can do it from here. Let's go, horsey. Third stone shall be mine. I'm zipping through this. I say zipping through. I just spent 25 minutes doing nothing and then had to look up a guide twice. But apart from that, I'm zipping through this. Here you go, horseman. Come, climb upon my back. I thought you couldn't serve anyone who wasn't of the air. Oh. Whatever, hold on, this will be a little exhilarating. Why does the screen slowly fade to white? Cypher of the cloud gracefully soars high into the air. You grab the reins tightly and hold on for dear life as he swoops and dips below the clouds. After a while, after a time, he draws near to a thick pitch of luminous mist. He sets himself down on top of a cloud. I'm always going on top of clouds, aren't I? Jesus. Graham Cloud Adventurer. Why would I not believe I can walk on the clouds when I've done it before? Literally, like, last game. Clouds. Hopefully this one's more forgiving than the last one where it just randomly killed me if I picked the wrong direction. Or even the spot where it said I could go. Cool. The last one I try. No. Nope. What is the spirit? It's the essence of everything you will know soon enough. Why do you choose to serve it? It is my destiny, I must fulfill it. All of us have a destiny. How's it possible I can stand here? Uh -huh. Oh, right, here we go. Such are not the questions you should be asking. Let's give it a different, uh, different meaningful voice. You have come for... No. You have come for the air, Jim. <laughs> it has been turned without reason to... Must prove himself grown. Meaning no respect, um, Cloud Spirit. Thank you. You must agree, Cloud Spirit, that I'm a man fully grown. It's like... <sighs> Make him all misty, airy. It is not enough that you have grown in body. That much is evidence. No, oh, I'm just being way too slowly tested. Those who bear the burden of king are expected to possess certain qualities. Your actions will be judged against the weight of these. We'll see... Behold, your first test. Really? Like, it's... Oh, okay, so it's... Are those are going to be questions. Like, would you do this? Oh, look! We were here in a... Hey! This is Daventry, and you're a child again. Is this everything that's happening again for the first time? You're vaguely aware you're undergoing a test. For what purpose you cannot fathom? Look, it's Malvolio. He looks evil. Just the name Malvolio. You're playing bat and ball. <laughs> How delightful. Uh oh. Ouch. Oh no, that sounds like the king, Mal. What will we do? <laughs> you there. Yes. Yes, is that how you address your liege? Uh, I know, your majesty, King Edward, sir. I mean, sire. Which of you two boys threw the ball? The one that just handed to la happened to land on my head. What are friends for? Why any sensible person would do it. Partners in crime, sacrificial lamb. I reckon you got to go sacrificial lamb here. What are friends for other than to blame? Your Majesty, it was I who hit the ball over the castle wall. It was my fault. Please do not punish my friend. I would not punish one. So uh, play somewhere else. Yes, sire. You've demonstrated good character by taking the blame. You must demonstrate your compassion by protecting others, even means putting yourself at risk. When you're grown up, I hope to see you again. Maybe you'll become king after me. Who knows? I don't like these. They're not like challenging or interesting. They just pick the goody goody answer and you win. Or if you get it wrong, just go through the whole thing again, picking a slightly different answer until you get it right. Whoa. The coming of the three headed dragon. My daughter's been demanded to sacrifice. You no longer have the heart for such quests, Graham, you pansy. Oh, it's the, the bad guy from this, I reckon. A charming view. No wonder you come here so often. You! I shall see you hanged for this intrusion! Guards! Guards! Curling them will be no good. For even if they come, they will find the king speaking only to the air he breathes. A pox on thee! Who are you? My name is the Father. 
Then say what you have come to say and be gone. <laughs> you never were one for small talk. You curse my family. Now that is not quite the truth. Do you deny it? No, it's just you have omitted so much. Speak and be gone. Very well, I want your crown. Oh look, he has one eye, like the skull. Ah, uh, you want to rule Davendy? Why would I want that? No, I want the crown. I've waited too long for it. You could have just taken it. No one can possess the crown of the first king unless it's given. Huh. I shall lift my curse. You'll have it both hidden and your family restored in full if you give up your crown. Ah, it feels dumb to give up the crown. You shall never have the crown. I'd rather die than risk it falling into your hands. Whoa! I'm gonna kill myself? I didn't know that's what I was doing. <laughs> it's a good thing you can't die. Does that is that good? Is that good enough? I don't know. Like if I have to go through all this again, it's gonna be really stupid and annoying. I see what they're doing. Like they're going story here, which is cool, but um How do you feel? Whoa, look at how old I am! I am deeply honored, sire. Now, how do you really feel? Scared shitless. <laughs> I'm just skipping this because it's long. Uh, he's not a royal birth. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, give me some puzzles to solve. So this, this, this game's got lots of content. Like, if you're after the content, play this game. It's packed with it. For a man who once speaks, lived as a peasant, he speaks extremely well. Man, I'm a classist, aren't I? A snob. Hey, look at all these nice things. I don't know if I should have given up the crown. I feel like I shouldn't have, but it's really hard to tell. What? Why would I not knight him? I have no information. Maybe I skipped the information. He's not the father, is he? <laughs> what a ridiculous image. What about my kids? Arise, Sir Connor of Daventry. I don't know if I've passed this or not. It's starting to get dark, haha. -ha. You've demonstrated some understanding of compassion, honor, and loyalty. While well, you have so much to learn, you are judged worthy of the air and growth gem. Thank goodness. Compassion was obviously taking the blame. Honor. Must have been killing myself rather than giving up the thing. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, and then loyalty was... Oh, crap. Get out of here. Loyalty was obviously sticking with the guy even though he's a peasant. Although, really, they gave me no information. You know, that was not, that was not a hard decision at all. Aha! It's dusk. How exciting. Where would you like me to land? On the ground would be fine. <laughs> Okie dokie. Two stones in. And yet only halfway through the game. Interesting. Take this sugar cube. It will protect against the poisonous growth of the land. Fairly well. Okay, cool. No comment. Now, at this stage, I could go exploring elsewhere, but I'm just going to go over because I know that the church is open. Uh, you remember through Swampy Mire in Lone Dark Castle? You remember the... Da -da -da. The final gem will not be the easiest to acquire. It's okay. Here's the bits that I remember. So, this is me with the air gem. I could stop there, but that would make it, what, a 10 minute video, and I'm excited to keep on going. Meeting all the vampires. Oh, look at that. Why would there be a fiend in a, in a church? To all have heard the word, we are the chosen few, blessed by the spirits of the wild. Yep, werewolves. The path has been found to him, the cloth will be lifted for all time from Lewolf. 
page from the Bible has fallen out. Let's grab that and go through the swamp. Something wicked started war, shame nobody ever saw. See, as a kid, I didn't get that this was southwest, southwest, south, north, east, south. Didn't get it. And then, is it also the ending words? G, D, no. D, D, R, E, Y, R, S. I have some vague memory of, like, what is that? Can I pray? Ah, that gets the attention of the monk. Father, I go now to a place of darkness. Give me a prayer. It gives you a prayer and a silver cross. Cool. You are welcome, my child. You can talk? Of course. I thought monks couldn't talk. No. <laughs> About this crucifix. It's of immense value. It more, costs more than any value to be in possession of it. Why you only open the church at dusk? <laughs> A heathen, a blasphemer. Cool. I think that's everything. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, it's creepy as hell. Oh my god, it's so... Ah. Oh, it's proper night now. Ah, shit. Should be wearing the cross. Oh, no, they're just going past me. He's friends with the wolves. How dare he? No, my brothers, we must not hurt him. Not yet. He will go to the heathen's abode. He will do what needs to be done. What if he does not? Then we will complete the task before us, the one we began many years ago. Are you still playing? Yeah. I found werewolves. Check it out. He's going to turn into a werewolf. You race away. You... Worked out what the, happens when the moon comes out in full. <laughs> One thing's for sure, you're not getting married in that church. Okay, I don't think anything else will have changed. I'm pretty sure the solution is just to go to the swamp now, but I'm curious to see the other places in darkness, because I quite like the... Uh... Oh. Alright. It's just that very slow animation. They, they had to redraw the whole game for this. Maybe it's just a filter? Hey, that's cool. Town's been shut for the night because of the werewolves. Okay, let's go. S oh, I should probably visit Grandma. Oh, that's so creepy. I'm gonna go quickly visit Grandma, and then I'm gonna go into the swamp. Ah, I really like the atmosphere of this game. I think it's really cool. The fog and the Oh, sir, have you seen my little granddaughter? She ventured to the town to buy food for me, but has not yet returned. I fear she may be in peril. The forest is not safe at night. <laughs> Don't say a thing, just leave. Okay, I feel like I should find Possum before I uh, go into the Count Dracula's castle. What do you think? You don't know? Do you want to come help me out? Ah, uh, no, you can sit next to me, though. You hear the sound of a child sobbing. That's good. For, you know, given definition of good. Hello! It's Possum! You're right, what happened? I went to town to buy some chicken soup. On the way back, I lost my way and was attacked by a dwarf. Oh, the fucking dwarf. Aha! Uh -huh. Why am I not believing that? Like... So I've got to find the dwarf. Presumably that's his house. Man, I don't remember any of this. I thought you just like went straight from here into the uh, into the swamp. I'm glad I went and checked first. Oh god, I love the, the darkness. Not like I'm evil. I mean, like I like the graphical style. I thought I saw... Oh, here we go.
It appears to be closed. Um, how can I lure the dwarf out? The sword, maybe? Maybe this is where I hide. Those red eyes are fucking creepy as hell. I'm actually getting tense just from playing this. I really like this game. I think it's super cool. Okay, it doesn't look like dwarf's coming home. I was about to try to check like my logbook or mission book, but there is not one of those in these games. Um, how do I find the dwarf? If I find the dwarf, how do I stop the dwarf? Let's assume that would be his house and like I just... I don't know. Let's go visit Grandma again. Maybe they have a hint for me. It's across and down one, then across, I'm pretty sure. So that's where the mermaid was. Come in, Possum told me to expect you. Perhaps there is a way to make her feel better. Um, so I'm guessing I give her the youth potion. She's not interested in becoming young again. Sugar cube? She enchanted. Nice earrings? Do you want a necklace? No. Sugar cube? Maybe I meant to have gotten the food back first. So sure that you have to do something with the dwarves' house. Um, hmm. Okay, if I can't work out anything out here, I'm just going to go adventuring, I think. Oh, hang on, I've got the frickin' life gem. That might make her feel better. Down one? Yes. Go memory. Oh my god, just walk me to the door. You stupid game. Birth gem, no. Life gem, no. Okay. I'm just going to go and find Count Dracula and hope I'm not doing everything in the wrong order because I don't know how to get into the dwarf's stupid house. Oh god, it's really unnerving. Can't go north? I want to go north. Let's go, forest. Okay, so presumably we start from this screen. And we go... South, west, south, west. South, 
West. Sort of curious as to what happens if you do this before reading the Bible book. I'd say you wouldn't have enough, uh, like you wouldn't have the cross to go through. Southwest, southwest, and then I think it's south, south, north, east, south, south, north. Ooh, it's different. East, south. Oh, oh God. Boatman, I need passage. I said, I heard. Speaks with a deep resonating bitterness. You can't see me actually his face, but what you can see as the hairs in this life I would row boat for the master. Long ago was my untimely death, but I still remember many things. Laughter, tears, joy, pain. Great. May I cross? You have come to raid the master's house. This I know, but care not about. You should be warned. The master is not what he once was. Never has this land known a kinder, more compassionate, and nobler ruler than he. But his fate has long been decided. Down a dark path in our treads, and he feels naught for anything or anyone. Save for one other, and even that is a rare trait for a Nosferatu. No one ever mentioned the Count being undead. How did this swamp come to be? No, the ground you like with us... Well, once the grand you stand upon was once farming land and dwellings for the peasantry. How did it come to be like this? A score of years passed after the master died and a great morass opened up, covering the surrounding land with slime and poisoned water. Once rich and fertile, now it is no longer. The Count caused this? I would believe so, for why else would his own castle be spared? Thank you, Sir Boatman. Well, I can't freaking go! Will he take earrings? Yes. Wait, did I lose points for that? I did. I definitely lost points for that. Oh, God. Okay, look, I'm going to load. Go through the maze again. Southwest, southwest, south, north, east, something. I'm on 101 points. South. I'm going to save when I get to the boatman. West. South. West, south, so this one has the bobbly, bobbly tree here, north, it doesn't have the bobbly tree anymore, that's so cool, I'm really impressed by all the cool things, east, south, Save as Swamp Lake. He only gives free rides. Okay, the earrings cost me a point. I'm guessing this is a bad idea. So you want a needle. Uh, let's do all the chatty chat. He remembers joy and pain. How can thou kill what is already dead? Hmm. <laughs> Despite what some say about your good fortune, you are not enchanted. Does he care about these? I don't want to give them away, I just want to like, show them to him to intimidate him. Look, I don't need the earrings. I still said I don't want to lose any points. Let's go back to forest. I reckon the grandma can give me some kind of hint. I think there's two ways of finishing this game. The first is to go in there and just kill Count Dracula. The second is to reunite him with his lovely wife. And then they're all lovey-dovey and it's nice. But I don't know how to do that. Something to do with getting the food back from the dwarf. 
Those eyes creep me the fuck out. I don't think I want to go back to the church. Town's closed. No way you're going back in there. That's fair call. There's a cliff. Could go check out the, uh, the bridge. I could try to get the um, get the dwarf to steal something from me. just kill him with a sword. I'm annoyed because I do have a solution, it's just not the best solution. And I want the best solution, damn it. If only I hadn't given away that bowl of infinite soup last game. That would be useful right now. Okay, I'm just going to try hanging out here for a while. If this doesn't work, I'll go back to the boatman, I'll give him the earrings, and I'll be one point down and I'll be annoyed about it. Because I want all my points. What else could he accept as payment? I reckon Grandma gives me some kind of knowledge and I can use that knowledge to, like, remind the boatman of love or something like that. And he's like, I remember love, have a free ride. That's what I think it is. But I don't know. It doesn't seem to be working. Chicken soup. A sugar cube with some sparkle. Put the neck put the put the necklace on. You really think sustaining uh can I combine things with each other? You bless what you possess. <laughs> Doesn't work for that one for some reason. I'm so sure there's a happy ending and a sad ending in this. The happy ending is reuniting Dracula with his family. The sad ending is just killing him. Hmm. She's not enchanted, is she? I must have tried that, surely. Pins useless. I think that's what all the stuff in the library is for. Like the books that you can read are like little bonus knowledge. No point in making that any younger. So like if you read all the books then you realize that there is a good and an evil solution. Come on, Dwarfy. Okay, I'm going to try dispelling Grandma. If that doesn't work, I'm just going to go and give him the earrings and be prepared to lose a point. Tragic though that is. Oh, this game. I like this game, it's just little stuff like that, it's just so stupid. She's not interested in that. Nothing. Oh, what's this? A familiar looking young man. Yeah, it's the frickin' count. All the clues are there, I just don't know how to actually... Okay. 
Let's give this guy my earrings and lose a point and continue the adventure. That's another of those stupid point and click the right spot adventures. One point down. So I'm currently not finishing this game with a perfect score. Feel hot, heavy coldness, blah blah blah, you're dead. Cool. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> These puzzles are so monotonous. They're not puzzles, they just like click in the arbitrarily right spot. Nope. Can't skip bits. Save as one point down. <laughs> so stupid. Ooh. It's cool, they just go like... Oh. <laughs> they kill me. Should have probably seen that coming now I think about it. Oh god damn it! Come on! Okay. Save here. Ah, uh, what are they they're gonna be afraid of life, surely? I want to throw it away, I want to use it in the frickin' ghosts. Sugar cube? No. Are they enchanted? Am I wearing my necklace? I must be wearing my necklace. Is intriguing. I'm stuck on a few different levels now. <laughs> Did you know ghosts are already dead? Is there like a side passage I can take? I feel like I can get I feel like I can get past the ghosts. Obviously there's some way of getting past the ghosts. Oh! I found a graveyard. <laughs> These are all full of puns. And Mary Drinkwater. They had travelled safely for many days until crossing a bridge along their way. She lost their balance and fell to her fate. They tried to save her, but it was too late. Not puns, they're just eulogies. I think there's some Easter eggs in here as well. Beloved daughter and son in law of Count Keldur and Countess Lavidia. Our enemies be warned. Their untimely demise shall be revenged. Avenged. Kitty. <laughs> her lives are up, she's had her fun. <laughs> he died from laziness because he joined the church. Maria von Trapp. <laughs> the, hills, the hills beckoned, but it was a long way down. There was an old couple named Olga and Stovich, who in truth made quite a fast pair. They lived with each other for many long years till they wound up in each other's hair. Aww. He's still born. That's quite sad. Young Avir, his time so near. He said, he, my dear, lend me your ear. Please do not fear. My life ends here. This one's going to be Kaldur's. Is that a gravestone? Yes. Count Bartholomew Scrooge. <laughs> Did not think it was possible, you suddenly feel a lot colder. Oh, I'm sort of stuck at the moment. Wait, 
That looks like a clue. Oh, it's not. He lies that thieving Thomas, tis the last time he'll rob us. Intriguing. And can I go this side? So, I think I'm going to call it a video. Next time, I'm going to try to work out how to get past these ghosts. Got to work out if I can do anything with this little device. And if I can get into that dwarf fortress, dwarf fortress, if I can get into the dwarf's house, house, and if I can avoid paying with my earrings, I think. Intriguing. Does the sugar cube, before I go, make me invincible to the... I got a point for that. Ah, okay, so that might be the point in the sugar cube to make that bit less annoying. Oh god, because I didn't have the conversation at the other end. So it's just infinite now? Yes. Okay, that's all from me. Uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't played this before and you have any ideas, let me know. Because I don't know what to do next. Uh, I'm probably going to have a day or two's break and then when I come back hopefully I'll have some fresh ideas. Um, otherwise it might be walkthrough time again, which I hope not, because I've been doing pretty well so far. I haven't used everything in my inventory on everything else in my inventory. That's okay. Uh, I'm Peter C. Hayward. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peter out.